I said I'm gonna get one for a while now and I finally did it. Here is the Armour Limitless Speed Bash Roller. This is one that I have wanted for so long now. It'll be my first proper large scale on-road RC car. I've had some smaller 110s in the past, but this one is something that we can really, really push. Like using our castle system there. I will touch more on the electronics very shortly. I'm not gonna show you guys too much technical specifications as there's so many videos on these out now. They are a couple of years old, but I really want to get my hands on one to see what we can do with it. Feel free to pause the video if you do want to look at the box. I love these images here. They show the actual size of the RC car and it is big. Yes, the seals are undone. I've had it out, but I couldn't help myself. And on the bottom here, here is a bunch of details. Again, you can pause that if you'd like to. I'm not gonna leave it in here. It looks too good. Let's get it out of the box. Of course, some tools and stickers and well, yeah, all that good stuff. For you guys that don't know, this is a roller, so you don't get any electronics. Uh, which I'll show you that right now. Good little instruction manual here. Sticker sheets. And kind of a motor battery gearing information card. Spare plastics, like body mounts. Spare shims. Tools, I love these wrenches. I use them on everything. Uh, these Allen keys though, not so much. My preferred Allen key is the MIP. I've had those for nearly a year. And there is like literally next to no damage on the MIP bits. I love them. And it actually comes with a pinion gear. So uh, I don't know what size this is, but I'm probably just going to use this one to start off with. You have an adjustable front wing, so you can cut this down if you'd like, or you can remove this screw to completely take it out, as well as this here, and you can interchange bumpers. Uh, essentially, these are identical to the Armour um, Felony and the Infraction with very mild changes. Uh, an incredibly big wing at the back here. Again, you can actually cut this back wing like you can the front wing. A huge rear diffuser. Uh, it, it just, the stance of it just looks absolutely incredible, guys. And then, yeah, underneath the chassis, it's very, very flat, obviously, which is great for an on-road car. I love the body. It's got a nice thick leg sand, which is really good because you don't want it to move around too much at high speed. I know Raz, he puts some um, magnets on the side here. I might just do that, yeah. And my plan for this isn't to go and break a world record like Kevin Talbot or Raz Schifrin. With this system, I would like to ideally try and get over 150 miles per hour. That would kind of be a nice little goal for this. Then we might turn it into something awesome like a rally car or, I don't know guys, the options are limitless, pun intended. Okay, taking a look on the inside. Here is your motor mount, which I believe is fully interchangeable. I apologize, I do not know a ton about these vehicles. For on-road speed runs, I've made mainly been using cars like the WL Toys Match and the WL Toys 124019. So I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to on-road. But I will say this setup looks pretty good. You've got your receiver box here, that's nice and big. You've got your ESC tray and then you've got two batteries just here. So that seems quite nice and balanced motor here, electronics batteries. We've even got an antenna, which I'm going to need to make another spot because my receiver, which is the R7FG from Radio Link, has two antennas. And speaking of electronics, here is my motor and ESC combo. It is the Castle Creations Mamba Monster ADS. This is my first proper castle system. It's a 15, 20, 16, 50 kV. And of course we have the ADS ESC. So let's take a look at that. Here it is, comes with some beautiful stickers. You know we're definitely gonna run those. I did a community post giving away this code. Unfortunately, we had some grumpy bums that didn't like the fact that they didn't get the code, so. And look at that, guys. That is just beautiful. It's got that beautiful aluminum housing with the castle logo under there. Big X on top. Six millimeter bullet. Guys, this is a censored system, so we do need to line up the motor wires A, B, C. If you get that wrong, you can absolutely damage it. And here is the motor, the 1650 KV. This is not the 1717 motor, this is the 1520s. So basically, it's a 1650 KV motor inside of a 42 millimeter can that is indeed 8S rated. Just look at that quality, guys. I'm absolutely loving it. Big castle logo. That beautiful green can. I don't know why, it's just got a really nice color to it. Here is a 1650KV with a maximum of 60,000 RPM. Beautifully soldered joints. So guys, I'm not waiting around anymore. I'm getting this castle system put in and I'm going out for a spin. Probably gonna start it off on 6S. I may do 8S yet, just stick around, you'll find out. Then in a future video, we're gonna see how fast we can really push this motor. Up, 
motor is in, but just have a look how long this can is. It is nearly resting up against the steering. I had to put the motor on the side because it's a bit hard to see, but that is the sensor wire. I don't think I could jam it in there if it was straight because this post here would probably be blocking it. But it's in there, it fits, and that's all we need. So this is the servo we're going to be putting in it. I don't know much about it other than it's a Savox SV1271 SG. Like always guys, I will leave links in the description where you can pick up the castle, the radio link, the limitless, and even the servo, and even the batteries we're going to use, basically everything in this video. Okay, so now it's time to turn it on. I've just got this 9000Z for a test just to kind of straighten up this servo. I'm actually surprised it fits perfectly. So radio on, obviously, and again, this is mainly just to straighten the servo. And let's turn this on. Everything seems to work all right. Get your steering centered out. And make sure your wheels are basically as straight as you can get them. Then the screwdriver and bolt it down. Now we should have steering. Okay guys, everything's pretty much hooked up. I realize I uh, need this in series <laughs> because there's gotta be two batteries in here. Silly me. Just kind of done the radio like this. I didn't want to drill another hole or whatever. Now it is time to get out there guys. I am so excited, let's go. Oh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I know what I need. Can't forget the power stickers. Guys, this is going to be the first time I'm using the Armour Limitless. I'm so excited. I've put some fans on the motor just in case, you know, heat issues. And I have to run 8S because I realize I don't have two 3S packs, um, which is really weird. But you guys at least get 8S. So let's turn it on and hope I don't crash. So the control is on and now the car. I love that little startup sound that it makes. Servo's working good. Goes forward. That's a good sign. Now let's put the body on. All right, guys, here goes everything. Oh, that's that smooth sense of goodness. Just need to adjust the steering trim just a little bit. Man, this is so cool, guys. Oh, man. Barely even touching the throttle. <laughs> Kids. Oh, that only took my foot off. Oh, well. This thing is insane, guys. Drift. Oh, <laughs> what a shame. Dude, you do realize you're an on-road car, right? You meant to stay over here. Let's clear out some of that dirt. Ah, oh, yucky. I'm just running a little warm. I think for bashing, we might want to gear down a little bit, but for now, it's fine. <laughs> Leaving little dirt trails. <laughs> Look, it's, just, it's dirt blowing off the car. That's that's awesome. Look at it, guys. This, this honestly has to be my new favorite car. Like, just to play around with. I love drifting. Barely touching the accelerator. Not even touching the controller. And by the way guys, the gyro is not on, it's all pure skill, which I don't have much of. <laughs> Alright, let's turn the gyro on. Uh, it's snaky. I don't know guys, I'm not a huge fan of gyro. Might be better in speed runs. Uh, I think it's on like 10%, that feels okay, it feels pretty controllable actually. 
And maybe with the jar, it's a little bit easier to drink. <laughs> Let's turn it off, see if that made a difference. Okay, yeah, big difference, so. Oh, it's still not too bad once you get used to it. Hey guys, I know I'm talking so much, but oh, it's just so much fun. I wonder if it got too hot. I definitely want to go 6S, guys, and probably gear down just a touch, especially for bashing around like this. I hate the fact that I got it in the <laughs> I bought an on-road RC car, man. I'm trying to keep this one clean. That's right. Air compressor time. Fahrenheit. 70, 80. It's saying about 185, 160, that's not too bad. And the ESC is at 130, that's not too bad. 140. Guys, I absolutely love the Armour Limitless. What an absolute blast this thing is. It's definitely my favorite right now. Maybe that's just novelty. But we're gonna try it on 6S, guys, and we are gonna bring it out again and go for a bit of a bash. And then eventually, I will see how far we can push this motor on 8S. Anyways, guys, that is it from us, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye!